So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to repair corrupt videos. I just made a video about a car DVR, and a lot of car DVRs make corrupt videos, and sometimes you need to recover those videos. So if you're on vacation or something, you might be recording some video and your card falls out or your battery falls out, and that will create a corrupt video too. So let's create a corrupt video. I'm going to destroy this video that I'm recording right now by opening this up. And there's four easy steps you can follow, and it's pretty simple. Now if step 4 failed and the software wasn't compatible with your video type, you can use the hex editor to copy the header information from a healthy video and paste it at the top of a corrupt video. So first thing you want to do is just copy your corrupt and healthy video into a folder on your computer. Second step, you want to download the Groove Video Repair Tool. I've got the link there and you can check the description for a link as well. You can save that on your computer and extract it anywhere. You can just run the GS file and it'll work. So in the third step, you can download the hex editor. You can cut your video in half, increase it by double, by triple, whatever you want to do. If you want to delete the first half of your video, just select halfway, click on something, go to the beginning, hold shift, and then click again. It'll select all those characters. You can hit delete, or you can copy and paste that section or whatever you want to do. You can also select the entire video, copy it, and then paste it at the end. To double the length of your video. And for the final step, you just run GS, you select your corrupt video, and then you select your reference video, which is the three second healthy video. You hit scan, and it should create a folder with the repaired video file for you. And there you go. Now the corrupt video works, and you can see what you've recorded before you drop your camera or before your car DVR corrupted the video. Now, if step four failed and the software wasn't compatible with your video type, you can try step five. You can use the hex editor to copy the header information from a healthy video and paste it at the top of a corrupt video. So that's a workaround if this software doesn't work for you. So hopefully out of the automated way or the manual way, you can get your video data back. So I've loaded up the corrupt video. I'm gonna copy the data and paste it into a working video and see if I get the data over there. Now we play the healthy video and sure enough the video works. So that's a good way to fix your video if you're having troubles getting it to work automatically. Thanks for watching and hope that helped you fix any corrupt videos that you had on your holidays or any corrupt videos that your car DVR recorded.